Well, dealing with and working through issues of grief and loss, certainly not just the work of adults. Uh, children and teenagers need to do that as well. To talk about that a little bit this morning, Rachel Saffer with the uh, Austin Center for Grief and Loss to talk about some camps uh, or a camp coming up in, aug in August. Uh, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. It is an important topic. We mm -hmm. all need to process grief as it, as it comes into our lives. It will for everybody. Mm -hmm. But it can be even harder or more challenging sometimes when you're a teenager. Mm -hmm. um, teenagers and younger kids yeah. specifically um, it can be challenging. They often don't feel like they have a safe place to go or a safe people to talk to about their loss. They're often also very worried about um, upsetting their, their parents or caretakers. And so um, Camp Redbird at the Austin Center for Grief and Loss gives them a place to feel supported with other kids in their age range um, to talk about and process their loss. Yeah, just hearing what you said shows how important that is mm -hmm. because that burden of wanting to protect others in the family when they're trying to work through that grief, no one should carry that. I mean, mm -hmm. the grief is hard enough. And like you said, uh, getting these younger people in groups with their peers sometimes just can open up the floodgates a little bit to, for them to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we do a lot of therapeutic activities as well as regular day camp activities and during the therapeutic activities they have the option to pass or to share but very often they get something out of hearing other kids stories and it usually leads to them sharing their own and seeking support from the kids at camp. And you were just saying something a minute ago when we were talking that it is important for kids, maybe for all of us, but certainly for kids, to talk to someone maybe who gets it. That mm -hmm. other, other people in their life, other friends even, maybe even with the best of intentions, mm -hmm. if they haven't gone through it, mm -hmm. that's not someone mm -hmm. they want to share this with. Right. And we actually had at our previous session in June, all the kids, as I was telling you, coincidentally all the kids that attended that session, they all had lost a father. So they all were able to connect over that and share that experience. And it was very, it was very interesting and nice to see how they connected and how they bonded with each other over the loss of their dads. Yeah. Now one important thing about the camp, I would imagine in the middle of all this grief for everybody, people have those waves where things are pretty normal too. Mm -hmm. So you want to have a normal camp, sure. you want to get out there and be a sure. kid. And I would imagine in better moments, mm -hmm. they don't have to feel like they have to walk around eggshells in good moments too because everyone else, again, there gets it, is in the mm -hmm. same boat. Sometimes you want to just kind of park that for a while mm -hmm. and enjoy mm -hmm. playing a game or being with yeah. some friends. Yeah, and that's why we structured it so we do some therapeutic work but we also add in um, water games going to the park even just having some quiet time yeah. um, they can go to centers and they can sit and read or they can play board games with each other or they can just sit and do art and yeah. that gives them some time to decompress from the hard work we did in the morning. Yeah, classic camp mm -hmm. experience. And uh, I guess there's a, a website on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, are spots uh, still available mm -hmm. for the camp? There are five spots left for camp. Okay, once again, austingrief.org slash Camp Redbird, uh, if that's uh, something that would uh, benefit a child or teen in your family. Thank you so much for Thank this. You. We really appreciate the information. Thank you, Dave. We're going to be right back.